Hello, um, some of you may have watched the previous video I did on this exact same programmer. I uh, did one uh, quite a while back now. But, and uh, there was quite a lot of comments saying people were having issues with it. So I thought I'd do an update video uh, to hopefully resolve some of them issues for some people. Uh, yeah, uh, it's basically a NAND programmer and it has different modules or different NANDs. The NAND is uh, the memory storage on an iPhone or an iPad and this allows you to program it. Uh, down the bottom there you can see the version of the uh, firmware the program is running on and it's version 1.00. That's very important for this video. I've, got, I've been using Google Lens which helps you translate Chinese to English so that may help some people as well. So yeah, I'll dive right in it. Right, uh, just before I start about the uh, software, I just thought I'd mention when this program first came out, it's um, advertised with the BGA315 NAND module and uh, you couldn't buy it anywhere, it wasn't available, but I'm just to let uh, people know, you can now purchase it now. Uh, you can purchase it from a number of sellers on Alley, it's now available, it's just been released. Right, over to the software. Uh, um, the first thing you want to do is download the I2C tool uh, platform. Uh, that's this platform here. Then you want to click on this, update. And you want to update the uh, version to 1.4.82. That's very important. You have to be on that version. And this will allow you... As you can see, it's changed to P15 Pro. It used to be P14, it's now P15 Pro. They're releasing a new uh, programmer. And when you click that, you download this. This is the P15 Pro version 2.10. So make sure you've got the right versions. So, yeah, and then you click here for changing language from Chinese to English. You may have to close it out and then open it. And then you click there, and this will open up this box, which will allow you to downgrade the firmware version on the actual program. You want to downgrade it to version 1.00. Once you've done them things, so you want to do three things. You want to update the version of the I2C tool platform. Then you want to downgrade the uh, download the P15 Pro version 2.10 and you want to downgrade the firmware on the actual programmer to version 1.00 once you've done that as you can see it works perfectly it's very stable and it's working flawlessly i've tested it out and i've uh, tested all functions so it all works so yeah so follow them uh, three steps and you should get yourself back up and running so yeah, hopefully this helps a few people out. If you've got any questions, drop them down and I'll try my best to help out. So version 1.4.82, version 2.10 on the P15 Pro, and version 1.00 on the actual firmware on the programmer. So yeah. Uh, thanks so much. I thought I'd do a quick video uh, because I had quite a few comments about it, so I thought I'd do an updated video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.